Hello, and welcome back to Feely Daily Vlogs. Uh, together we are Feely Creative, a audiovisual company based in central Kansas. I'm Gus. I'm Chip. I'm Amber. And thanks for tuning in. Um, so we usually start the show by uh, kind of looking at where the coronavirus is today. Such a positive mm -hmm. way to start the show. Uh, not really. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> so it's it's uh, forefront in all of our minds, so it's good to get yeah. it out of the way. This is true. Yeah, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly yep. with that. Um, so looking at the world map today, um, all, all of the, the uh, statistics I'm about to share are from the New York Times. Um, they have a uh, pretty, pretty helpful series of maps on their website. So cool. the first one here, world map, 1.8 million cases, 120,000 deaths across the world. Um, pretty, you know, we have, we have definitely achieved a flattening of the curve, uh, at least the top of the curve. Um, uh, currently, so that's good on the worldwide. Um, looking at the world map, you know, again, um, there's really two really big um, areas of the world that are impacted by this. That would be the United States mm -hmm. and Western Europe, um, which are, you know, arguably the, the, the first world countries. So it, it's just kind of surprising. And I, I, I think you can honestly say a lot of it is just because we're democracies and yeah. we're less likely to, to pin up our residents. Right. Um, right. You look across, you know, some other places where things are, are bad. Turkey, um, Iran, China, all of those have between 60 and, and 90,000. Wow. Mm, um, holy cow. So, and, and we are starting to see, you know, South America continues to, to grow. Brazil's at 23,700. Ecuador, 7,500. Peru, 9,700. Chile, 7,500. So wow. there are some big numbers in South America. That's just so, crazy. So it's also mm -hmm. crazy to think that, like, we say those are big numbers, but then we look at, like, what's happening just in New York alone. Like, New oh, York yeah. has yeah. more yeah. cases so move down. than some countries have, you know? Like, that's, that's just crazy. New York, State, New York State has 195,000 cases. Right. That's almost 200,000 people. Right. That is, um, that is more than any other country on Earth. Yeah. Um, besides the United States, obviously. Right. And, and it's the bulk of the ones in the United States. Right. So, um, yeah, it, it's wildly out of hand. Um, yeah, so in the United States, currently, there are 580,000 cases, 23,600 deaths. Um, the, the state, sorry, the uh, nationwide growth map is, is actually going down now. Good. It's not even flat. It's, it's going down. So that is good. Um, and that, I mean, I think that, that shows that social distancing is working, is having some impact. Um, so going down to Kansas, we are also on, on the downward trend. Uh, today, there's a 1,383 cases and 63 deaths. Um, Salina did report its second death yesterday. Um, so of the 10 people, two of them have died. So that mm -hmm. uh, is, is a pretty pretty high death rate yeah. in terms of our local cases. Um, yeah. Obviously, there's there's a great a lot of people think that there's more cases around than, than the 10. Oh, I'm sure there uh, are. Which, mm -hmm. yeah. People who've just gone to the, like, called in to the doctor and they say, well, I think I have these symptoms. And the doctor says, okay, well, shelter in place in 14 days. And if it gets really bad and you think you need emergency services, then call us back. So I'm sure there are plenty of people that have been yeah. it, fed that exact it is, line. It is surprising. Wichita, Cedric County. Mm-hmm. Um, they've had 200 cases and two deaths. Yeah. So we've had 10 cases and two deaths. deaths. So right. Yeah. Um, I think we're, it feels like a, not such a good time to be. Right. In Salina. I think we're but just I, I, confirming less cases. Yeah. Honestly, is what it is. Yep, mm. I would agree. We're only confirming the ones that are drastic, like the people yeah. who are actually like really affected by it and like in the hospital are the ones mm. that we're it, reporting. It, it really seems like. Um, you know, the path forward and out of social distancing is in, and I've heard Fauci say this as, as well as some of the other scientists that have been speaking publicly, and, and that is to um, to go ahead and, and start rolling back social distancing, but when people pop up with cases, you have to basically Isolate go back them. through their, right. their, right, you have to put them in quarantine and anyone they've been in contact with in quarantine. Yeah. Um, places like Japan, Japan is having some serious issues right. because of their, their cult, their culture. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
you know, they, they're still in this culture. I was reading a New York Times article this yeah, morning. Yeah, they're going they're round about, two pretty much since they like they right, they let up on their they, social distancing and it it bit them it bit them real hard. The their their culture is is still cemented in paperwork and and not working from home. Right, like, it's just not their culture. And, um, you know, they, they still have official stamps that they mm-hmm. stamp, you know, yeah. uh, you know, the president of a company will stamp stuff. And so, so they, they have this culture where paperwork is, is mandatory and, um, and that's, that's going to bite them in the butt, but there is some, some interesting things. Um, there are companies now that, that are using apps on people's phones when they eat in the corporate cafeteria, hmm. you know, they scan the seat they sat in as a QR code. And then if they get sick, um, they will look up that QR code and they'll say, okay, you're in contact with these 10 people. So all of you are in quarantine. Wow. And, hmm. and then, oh, okay, you sat here on these, these five days. So everybody you sat near are also in quarantine, you know, so they can, they can That's crazy. theoretically have that kind of control. And, and I think China is, is doing stuff like that, but even more. China's just uh, militaristically locking everyone down. They're like, stay in your house. Don't leave. Period. <laughs> well, they have opened up a lot. Yeah, lately since, they have um, absolutely right. But but they yeah you're right. Like they they have the ability. You know they have drones that fly around mm-hmm. and they can basically detect your face and they know you know where you live yep. and, and basically chase you back to your house. And, <laughs> um, it's it's a different world. My my I have some family that that were in China. Um, I wow. think a little less than a year ago. I think it was like nine months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was is um, some my one of my sisters and her family, and they were freaked out by just the amount of cameras in China mm. and just That's how crazy. how they are um, they track quite literally everything that goes on in that country, which is just kind of terrifying. So anyway, I think that's kind of our update on coronavirus for the day. Um, not you know not no huge news I would say in the last twenty four hours. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess maybe another thing we can touch on briefly is there's been a few more developments in in the uh, uh, political world. Um, mm. Bernie Sanders did endorse Joe Biden, yep. um, which yep. is a su- maybe not a surprising move, but um, it'll be interesting to see if that actually has um, if that takes takes a foothold and, mm-hmm. if, and if his supporters decide they will follow his wishes. At, you know, it, I think it's a, it's, it's a last ditch effort to keep Trump from being reelected honestly yeah. i think that's yep. what it is and that's what sanders even said in his he gave a pretty convincing speech i i, I felt like it was it was strongly worried right. and you know and basically you know we we just this i think he said he is the um worst not worst scariest president in modern history something like yeah. that i can't remember the adjective but <laughs> um he's so not wrong he, no i i would agree i would agree i i think we need some 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 real strong leadership mm-hmm um, I have a question, hmm. and I uh, this this question just popped up in my random question generator, and I um, the only reason I ask it is because I I feel like I, I there's a pretty obvious answer. What recent event have you seen that restored your faith in humankind? Okay. <laughs> I mean, for me, I mean, this coronavirus thing, as bad as it's been, you know, I have seen a lot of things that I've been very positive right. about. People have stepped up and taken care of each other. Mm-hmm. It's it's pretty significant, but it's also shown yeah. like the worst side of people too, because you know they're like oh, sure. hoarding toilet paper and all this other crazy stuff that they really didn't ever need to do, and like selling a roll yeah. of toilet paper for like crazy jacked up prices. Like, mm-hmm. I would agree. <laughs> I would agree wholeheartedly. So you get the best it, it, and the worst, but <laughs> the the cream rises above. Right. It rises to the top. You know, it, right. it does seem like. Um, this sort of circumstances brings out the best and the worst in people. Mm-hmm. For sure. mm-hmm. um, I guess I guess I would have to say something along those lines because, I mean, it, right now it's kind of the biggest event that's happening in all of our lives, and it's. Yeah. I mean, can, can you remember a time in in the world, <laughs> in our lives, where the entire world has been focused on one issue like this? I mean, this. This is a this is a unique circumstance. Yeah, I was gonna say memory. not mm-hmm. not within our lifetime. Like before we were born, it was going to space, and even then, it was more of a race to beat the other nations. Like right, we that was like first, a, yeah, yeah, it was like us against Russia, yeah. basically right. at that point. And this, it's it's less about we want to be healthy first, and it's more about we want to be you know healthy. Period. <laughs> oh, for yeah. sure. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a question. Yeah, let's hear it, Tim. Uh, would you rather be unable to use search engines or be unable to use social media? I would say for myself, <laughs> probably social media. There's just a lot that search engines have made things significantly easier in, in, in uh, like an educational stance and, and also like trying to, to find, like, like if there's a restaurant I want to go to, it's so much easier to, to look up to see if they're A, where they're at, B, if they're even open for that matter and what their hours are. Right, right. Man, that's hard, like... Because I, I social media a lot, especially, like, business-related social mm-hmm. media. So that's, like, mm-hmm. that, that that's I, pretty rough. I would still probably pick search engines just because people rely on that stuff so heavily, like, even outside of, like, social media yeah. and Facebook. But mm-hmm. Well, that's, we've, been, we've, been using, we've been using Google and everything else since before, like, you know, right? Facebook and, and Instagram yeah. and Twitter and all that crap has been around, really, so... I have a bit of a window into this. <coughs> of of my two parents, one of them, my mom, she she can she can search engine, but she can't social media. Right. And my dad can't do either. <laughs> <laughs> and um, her ability to function in the world is great, great. You know, is a lot better than his, just because she can she can search engine. That and makes sense. I, I I they've asked or my mom's asked me once or twice. You know, should I be on Facebook? And I'm like. You know what? No. <laughs> I, I don't think you're going to enjoy it. I think you're just going to get more okay. polarized. In, you know. I've got a question for you. It's a really easy one. Are you ready? Okay. That's All right. right. How old are you? Oh, crap. <laughs> I, I'm... I just turned 28. <laughs> I just turned 28. <laughs> okay. 1,322 years old. Now. now this October. Take a stab at how old Google is. Oh, I know where you're going with this. 20 I'm... years old? Yeah, it's 21. We're all older 21? than Google. That's insane. Yeah. It's like, just all... crazy to me. I feel like uh, it's been around for forever, but... I know. I, I We're remember all like Google. six plus years older than it. Yeah, it's super weird. Yeah. I remember when computers were like useless compared to yep. today. I mean, Oh, yep. most definitely. Like, like they were, you couldn't do anything right no no internet no nothing it was just like yeah they were mm-hmm. used for like processing just, units and that was it <laughs> yeah and just green green text yeah. on a yep. screen oh yeah i actually played yep. oregon trail on a computer like that that's where i first played Ooh. it when it was like the black and green wow. screen like that that's crazy yeah. <laughs> what are you doing on the tv console it just blows my mind that <laughs> google weird. is that young technically yeah, no, it, it, it does. Like, think about how much money they have. They own, like, everything. I can't think of a single thing that Google doesn't have their hands on or in or around. Like, The only company I, I would think is, is even more dominant would be Amazon now. I mean, yeah. If, yeah. if coronavirus has cemented one company on this Amazon. planet as, as a dominant, oh, it, would be, yeah. it would definitely be Amazon. Absolutely. Um, like, I was reading that of all of their market segments, like... A very very small amount of their market has been affected by crime. Oh, I'm Most sure. Most of their market has gone. Oh, out, I'm sure. Which is just just surprising. What did you just send in the chat, Tim? <laughs> the reason why <laughs> I picture Raven was in the uh, she wants in the bedroom because I, the the door is shut, and so she went to take she took to exploring elsewhere in the house, which in this case apparently is uh, my TV center. So she she was on like the second to bottom shelf. Aww. She's on an adventure. <laughs> See, when I had St- Stella used to do that <clears throat> constantly when she was there. Raven, I, that's the first time I've ever seen Raven do that. Like, at least be in that spot. <laughs> Typically, she there is like one cabinet in the kitchen that so she like, likes to hide in. <clears throat> yeah, weirdly, like it's it, there's only one, and it, it, it's I think it's only really that one because she can actually open that one. Because gotcha. it doesn't really like close all the way, so every once in a while she'll yeah. go there and she'll just be like, she'll just paw it <laughs> until it opens, 
I have a video of my cats when I moved into my apartment over on Ohio. <clears throat> and um, I have a video of them, like, opening all of the cabinet doors and the drawers. They open the drawers, too, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> and so, like, one morning I woke up and, like, every cabinet and every drawer in my kitchen was open. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on? And the cats are just sitting on top of the refrigerator just, like, staring at me. Like, why? Why do you do this? Like, you can't just, like, shut them also? Like, <laughs> <laughs> No, because it's your I've job after question. that point. Ridiculous. <laughs> I've got another question right. for you guys. Do you prefer to watch the sunrise or the sunset? Mm, That's sunset. a tough question. I don't like waking up in the morning. Done. Let's say you, Tim. Probably going to have to be sunset also, just because they're... There have been many moments where I, sim, sim, part of it simply for the same reason that that of Amber, for Amber <laughs> because more off it, it's very rare if I'm ever up early enough to actually see it, um, mm-hmm. and there have been times where like, like a late summer evening when the sun's when the sun is setting and like, the sky is like full of just various different colors and stuff mm-hmm. is yeah. To, like th- there was a there was a moment when I was in uh, JUCO in Coffeyville, I was on my way walking to the calf, and the sun was doing that, mm-hmm. and I just full on stopped and stared and couldn't take my eyes away from the sunset for until it basically went down, and I'm pretty sure that my friends thought I was high because <laughs> I was trying to describe it to them, and. <laughs> <laughs> and it just it, it, you can't capture. It. Don't get me wrong. I love seeing the sun rise. Also, like they're, they're both. I mean, it's it's very similar in many regards. But mm-hmm. I I don't know. I <laughs> sunset. I guess for me because I I don't have the desire to get up that early. For me, like I've some of the best times in my life have been spent on Coronado Heights, hmm. which for those of you not in our area, mm. it's, a, it's a town or it's a town. It's a hill um, <laughs> south of here. We actually filmed a music video there a few months ago. If you go to our YouTube channel and you search for um, Kansas music video, uh, you will find a, a piece we shot there, and uh, it's a wonderful place to watch the sunset. Oh, um, definitely. And and I, as much as I love those experiences, to me, I'm a morning person, and mm-hmm. I rarely see the sunrise, but I absolutely love. There's two times I notice the sunrise. One is. Um, when I play at church, I play in our praise band, and we often have to be there at like 6.30, 6.45 in the morning. Mm. And during the winter, when I get there, the the sun is still down, you know, hasn't come up yet. Mm. And then right after <clears throat> our rehearsal, we get a little break to go home, <laughs> and I come out, and it's like the sun is just rising, and that's glorious. The other time is like any time we go on a road trip and we leave really early in the morning, mm. yeah. and I love the experience of driving east as the sun rises, and you know, and you... You see, like the first, the first light, mm-hmm. you know, and then it just gradually gets better. And and there's something about it being, you know, fewer people are taking part. You know, right. it's, it's it right. feels, it feels unique, and it feels, I don't know, it feels special. No, that's totally okay. fair. That's totally fair. <laughs> it's it it's it. That's a tough question, really, because they're both. Yeah. They're, they're both. Uh, I mean, they, in some ways, they're the same, really, but. There is a, there is a difference and for sure they're they're very unique and both incredibly beautiful most all the time. <coughs> oh, pardon me. For those of you who aren't on this phone call, we are we are seeing some wonderful videos and and photos shared of of what cats can do. <laughs> there's a there's a video of my cat very deftly opening a cabinet. <laughs> The, and Kilroy. then there's a photo of like all of the drawers and all of the like lower cabinets that the cats can reach just open in my kitchen. <laughs> Goodness, don't don't teach any of my pets how to do that. That would be bad. <laughs> oh oh, I'm sure I'm quite certain Stella would already know how. Right. Yeah, I would. She, I would she, agree with you there. Like, for she, sure. she, she, the thing she is, she never opened cabinets, but she did learn how to turn on my Xbox by jumping ah, off of it. Yeah. Yep. I believe that. <laughs> 
Kilroy, like, he'll, like, hook his claws in it and, like, pull the door open, and sometimes mm. it'll, like, slip, so it'll, like, knock back clothes, and that's how I caught him opening that cabinet, because he had failed a couple times, and then I, like, peeked around the corner mm. with my camera to, <laughs> to sneak around and watch him, and then he finally got it open. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We'll have to uh, uh, put these in the, in that bottom right square, or mm, yeah. film in yeah. the video, so, can, <laughs> so, so our guests can Absolutely. watch them, too. Um, let's see. Yeah, another question. What, I, I, got a, I got a question. Okay. What okay. is the most useful thing you own? Oh, God. Um, mm. My stand mixer. That's a good answer. Yep, hmm. it makes things super easy to cook. Like, I can bake anything, mix anything up with that that way. I can whip things and froth things and like like chicken. If you uh, cook a bunch of chicken, you can put it in there with the little paddle and it'll shred it for you so you don't have to shred the chicken by hand. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's pretty handy. Is that like an immersion blender or is that different? No, it's a stand mixer. It uh like a kitchen like stand mi- mixer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. There are, has... there there are many kitchen things I don't I don't Know about you would recognize this one, Tim. It has yeah. like the big stainless steel bowl. Oh, yeah. okay, that's yeah. what I was picturing. Yeah, but I people sure. use it for like baking normally, is what they don't really use it for. But like, uh, it, okay. so, I've got that. there's like a little metal paddle that has slots in it, and it like mm-hmm. it turns with so much horsepower, you can put a cooked chicken breast in there and it'll it'll shred it. That's terrifying. Yeah, if you ever want to see about a really your hand one it. of those. Go to Papa Murphy's because they have the the ones that sit on the floor. They're yeah. like four and a half yep. feet tall. Yep, oh, and they wow. have like the five the five gallon bucket bowls. Yes. Yeah. Oh yep. wow, that's yep. crazy. Yeah, those those are very impressive. <laughs> Every time I go there, I'm just like, I have no need for this, but I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Most oh, useful goodness. thing. I guess I would say. I mean, it's it's not something I own. I mean, I would say a house, but I don't technically own one because <laughs> I'm renting. So, I guess my car, because I'm, but I'm, I don't technically. I'm, I'm still paying on that. So, <laughs> you own it because you own the debt. How about that? <laughs> That's fair. Okay. Yeah, you own the debt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, happy tears. I I am ultimately way happier with the car I have now than the one I had before. That's good. Um, That's good. Even I if I like, haven't driven it much since I got it because of I the feel pandemic. like I just saw your car the other day. Did you sell it to somebody here in town? Oh, the Impala? Yeah. Yeah, I did. It was I the feel green like one. I saw it just down the block. <laughs> you might have. my house. Because, nice. like, doesn't yours have, like, the nice. passenger side, the little uh, windscreen across the top of the window? Isn't it, like, broken or chipped or something? Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw it then. If you see it again, I take a picture somebody, and send it to me. Right. I think somebody just down the block from me bought it, actually. <laughs> the so car like, is following I saw, you. Right, <laughs> I saw it drive by, and I'm like, Tim, wait a minute. <laughs> I wanted it back. <laughs> it's always it's always kind of a warm, fuzzy feeling when you see one of your previous vehicles. Yeah. Yep. Still driving around. I, I think my first car is still around. Wow. Mm. Occasionally I see. That's yeah, cool. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. There was a really sad, my, my previous car to the one I have mm-hmm. now, it was a Ford Explorer, and um, we, we hit a deer with it mm. between here and our old house in Lundsburg, mm-hmm. and it was, it was, they did total it, they ended up totaling it. it, it you, if you looked at it, you wouldn't think it was totaled, mm-hmm. but um, it had some pretty serious issues, but, um, but I, I was driving back into town like two or three weeks later, and I saw it on the wrecker truck going to Wichita. Aww. And it was just like, oh, that's so sad. So sad, yeah. It's just like it's going to right. A that's dump. it's the end of its life. <laughs> yeah, I was just so sad Aww. about it. So, yep. Oh, guess what? Tomorrow should have been tax day, but oh, not anymore. Well, the oh, good yeah. news did is they, I got my taxes done a while they, ago. Uh, did they extend yeah. the date for all of that? Yeah, I, I believe they I did. I feel like they probably um, should have, honestly. But. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure they did. Now, don't 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 quote me on that all of you listeners. Right. <laughs> but I'm I'm pretty sure they yeah. did extend, extend Has anybody that. got their uh, checks yet? The the stimulus? I I haven't Not to my I haven't knowledge. seen anything yet. I haven't either. I've, I have I've heard few, supposed to be this week or next. I had a few friends that say they've already got theirs, but hmm. I personally haven't. 
I know if you were set up on direct deposit uh -huh. for your tax refund last year, you should be getting it very soon if you haven't gotten it. Yeah. That's what I've was. been doing. I, I do a direct deposit. I think, I think my I think no, my account's the same. Cool. So yeah. Yep. I didn't even change bank accounts, mm -hmm. so it should be. Fingers crossed. Mm. All right, I got one, one last question, if you're up for it. Okay. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, God. No. Right? <laughs> I would probably go with something, like, really bland, like rice, because I know that there's, like, a whole billion or probably several billion people that that's their primary thing in their diet, so... I know they can survive on it. I can survive on it too. I guess in but theory, you could the always throw in different spices. You could eat. Yeah, is it, the question is: Does that include like spices and stuff? Uh, like, like people, a serious amount of the world's population survives on rice every right. day, and so that if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. Like, I I know I, I wouldn't want something that has a uni like a strong taste because right. I would get sick of it. Right. Very, mm. very quickly. That's fair. <laughs> like I imagine, like macaroni and cheese. No, I would, I would probably starve to death because mm. after a couple weeks of eating just macaroni and cheese, I would just kind of self destruct. I mean, rice is a solid thing. You can do a lot with it, but it depends on if you're even able. I mean, I guess it depends on stipulations of, of yeah. this. I, I think I feel like most people would would answer pizza. Because then you could make it whatever flavor pizza you wanted. That's true. Hmm. That's fair. That is a pretty good idea. I don't know. My knee-jerk re reaction was to pick some kind of meat, but at the same time, like, I could probably go vegetarian and be perfectly fine. I could probably do it if I if I absolutely had to. Right. But. I don't know. I kind of I kind of like the idea of rice, but I just I haven't ever really been like a major fan of rice. So maybe if I picked something like quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> See, I like quinoa, but I feel like, I, I don't know, neither of them have a, a whole lot of flavor. Right. Yeah, that's the thing. I'd have to spice it somehow. So if I could spice it, I would choose either rice or quinoa, probably. Yeah, I could I could live with that. I, I know, like, if, if it were something, like, terribly unhealthy for the rest of my life, like pizza, yeah. well, there is a variety there. Like, I, I, I'm you quite positive. You could make it healthy. Get... The only thing yeah. I would see running into with rice is not getting all of the nutrition you need. Like, you definitely have to, like, mm. supplement with vitamins of some kind. That's right. true. That's true. Huh. I would say maybe something like... I'm just going to go with, like, a protein. I'm going to say fish. Well, that's a good idea. Because you like fish. A, I like fish. I've, I've always liked seafood. Um, there are certain ones that are, that are, you know, not only, like, rich in protein, like salmon... Mm -hmm. um, but they have other um, antioxidants and stuff. In them. Yeah, like there's, there's, it's just a solid form as long as you, you know, prepare it correctly. Right, you're fine. So, yep. An important caveat to that, if 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 I were to respond with fish, I would say, I would say fish as long as I was living on a coast. Mm -hmm. mm. The fish we get here in Central not United good States fish. is not great fish. Not unless they like fly it in overnight. Are you saying you don't love catfish, Gus? I'm just saying catfish only gets you so far. You know, <laughs> this is true. Like, it's true. I I just cat. There's a dip, there's a big difference between freshwater fish and ocean fish because oh, like, definitely. Oh, yeah. Ocean fish are more lean um, and they're less greasy, like that oily, fishy yep. type mm -hmm. stuff. Like freshwater fish, like catfish, are very slimy, greasy critters, and that's why people choose to fry yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. As I say, I my my favorite is and probably will always remain to be salmon. Me too. I love salmon so much, um, although I do enjoy cod. <laughs> but if if, a staff, if if catfish is is uh, is made the right way, like whether it's breaded or baked, either way, like with a mm -hmm. bit of lemon juice and some other stuff, it's just fantastic. Very but true. but salmon would be would be my would be my go to. I would say, okay, if we're going favorite fish, my favorite fish would probably be, like, fresh tuna. Like, yes. like just caught. Mm. Like, it's not yep. cold, like, because hmm. it's been refrigerated. Yep. And and then, you know, either sushi, like, very, like, not, not, um, 
not heated or, or cooked. Right. Or like just very, very, very slight. Not, I, not much at all. I do love raw salmon. Like salmon sushi is just, mm. that's where it's at. Mm-hmm. Um, I do I, love that as well. I don't know. I still, I still maintain that salmon is probably my favorite. I do like, um, I do like swordfish too. I've never had swordfish. It's actually pretty it, darn good. It has a similar like texture, I guess, to cod in that it's white fish, yeah. hmm. and it tends to flake mm-hmm. to some degree. But but it's definitely it's definitely like a like a fancier fish than than a cod would be. I suppose uh, um, in relation to the question. You could say something in, in, to combine all of these, more or less. Uh, you could say just sushi. Ah, mm-hmm. there you go. Because then you could have rice Ooh. and fish in the same combo. There you go. You've been thinking. <laughs> yeah, the, my, I guess the, the answer that, that we all seem, um, seem to be kind of leaning towards uh, to the first question is... As generic a food group as possible. Right. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> something that is very generic, but also has lots of options. So something mm-hmm. like pizza yes. or sushi. So then you mm-hmm. can, you know, mm-hmm. mix it up a little bit. <laughs> I have actually seen uh, sushi pizza before. Oh. Uh-huh. Where it's just like a gigantic thing. of It's not actual pizza. It's just like sushi <laughs> cut like pizza. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Cute. That's cute. Understood. Giant Understood. rice patty with stuff on top mm-hmm. of it cut into slices. Basically, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of the Feely Daily Vlog. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. We have other stuff coming out soon. Hopefully you caught Hannah's uh, music video the other day. Yep. That was kind of fun. Um, and I think we've got some other things coming this week, hopefully. Help me remember, guys. Do we have anything coming this week? Um, probably another video game. Oh, yeah. Yep. Once yeah. I start on that. Now that I've cleared... <laughs> <laughs> one point zero one terabytes off my computer and hard drive. That yes. was almost a heart attack. You. <laughs> <laughs> that is so much stuff. I, I, I sat there for like a solid minute, just being like, <laughs> "This feels so wrong." <laughs> but so so. <laughs> <laughs> my mind telling well, me if, no. <laughs> if you like this video, please uh, hit like and subscribe below. And if you want to be notified every time we post a new video, hit that notification bell. Yeah. As well. So from all of us here at Feely, thanks a lot for tuning in and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.